I'm not picking it up. If there's one thing about me that I hate, it's, it's snakes. Stop. All right, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to flip number two. I've got my buddy Chuck here with me. I'm going to be teaching him a little bit about what's going on with this house, but uh, we have another home that is a complete disaster. Only problem with this one is I have a little bitty, 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 bitty little budget. I mean, I have little to no money to flip this house. Um, the owner came to me is basically if they sold it as is, they probably have to pull out $10,000 out of their pocket. Right now, my whole goal on this property is just to flip it and basically let them break even or a little bit of profit. So come on in, let's check it out and uh, see what you think. All right, welcome to flip number two. This one, this one's basically, there's not much we can do other than changing out flooring. I'm not sure what's going on behind Chuck over here. The brick is almost a yellow, and uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Really, we'll probably be painting this, changing out the mantle, touching that. We're gonna rip out the carpet, rip out the tile up front, put in some new flooring. Probably make this an accent wall. Definitely uh, change out the uh, ceiling fan and everything like that. But uh, let's check out some of the other rooms. All right, welcome to the kitchen. You know, one of the great things about working in these houses when it's 96 degrees already is uh, no AC. But overall, the kitchen's actually really not that bad. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. The uh, the cabinetry is actually in pretty good shape. There's some weird stuff that they did in here that I'm seeing. Like right here, it looks like the fridge didn't fit, so they just chewed it off right there until it would fit. So we'll have to plane that off, um, make sure that we can make it look pretty decent. And then- What do you think they got going on right here? I don't know. Maybe somebody's rear went through it. I'm not sure what they did here, but I know on the other side is the uh, master bath. So the kitchen actually looks pretty good. I may replace all this, but anyways, we're done in the kitchen, come on out. Okay, so here's our master. It's actually downstairs. The, uh, we're starting to sweat. Um, really, it's not a bad space. This house is under 1,500 square feet. You have three full bedrooms, you have a loft, um, and everything actually a breakfast area. You have a walk-in closet here. Overall, I mean, it's really not a, uh, a bad space. This all has to be changed out. This right here, that has to be, has to be fixed. It's highly doubtful that we'll be able to find that. So we may have to rip that one out too. Um, yeah, yeah okay. one tile. The, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the toilet, but it's green. So it's always fun walking into these with me, <laughs> <a little> <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the guy was a snake lover. My big fears. I hate snakes, Chuck. I hate them. The backyard is really overgrown. the The whole house should be. Honestly, I think I can get this done in about two weeks uh, because we're not doing anything crazy. Upstairs, changing out all the carpet, um, painting the whole house, painting the brick, switching out uh, some of the stuff in the kitchen. This will actually be an easy flip. I don't think... What are we planning on doing outside? The outside, we're just gonna pressure wash everything, clean up. I've got about $1,000 to spend on everything outside, uh, ripping out all the vines, cleaning up the backyard, picking up all the trash and that's it. I am hoping that we can get this done in about two weeks so we can get it on the market and get it sold. It's a good market, so I'm gonna get max dollar for it. I just have to do the right stuff. I, you know, ripping out a lot of these doors that are broken, ripping out uh, some of this stuff will be easy, but it's all just a matter of getting it done. 
All right. So check out some more pictures of the rest of the house and uh, we're getting started. day three and we've already ripped out tile in both of the uh, bathrooms this is the master bathroom it's not very big there's not much that I can do with it if, if I had the budget I'd have ripped everything out of here even the sweet uh, toilet with the snakes on it um, but the only place I can really upgrade is going to be the shower tile so I decided to go with a larger tile this is a uh, 12 by 24 inch tile and it's going to it's really gonna upgrade this whole room instead of the, the old blue and pink tile that were uh, in here. That's pretty much all I'm able to do in here. This is an example of a house that you're just coming in and putting a lot of lipstick on. This is going to be basically all we're gonna do in here other than painting. Tomorrow, we're actually starting it. So today's day three. On day four, we're starting the painting. So within the first week, we're already gonna have this place painted tile up, everything done. Only thing that we have to do is wait on everything for the kitchen. So let's head over there. You can check it out and see what you think. Okay, so here's the kitchen. We've ripped out uh, all the counters and everything. I was gonna try to actually save them, but after we tested the uh, stove top didn't work. Tested the oven didn't work. And to replace both of, both of those was more expensive than to tear out the counters and replace those. I expanded my budget just a little bit and decided to go with granite. And we're putting in a full stove in here. Hopefully we can get this thing working. If I'm able to save that, that'll help me out a lot. And I can actually put in a backsplash that uh, will really make this kitchen look good. Cabinets, we wanted to paint them. Can't because of the way it would cost me more money to actually sand these down, do everything that I have to, to be able to paint them than to just rip everything out and replace it. I ain't got that money. So, some of our guys are in here working, we're in their way, but this is the kitchen, new granite's going in, new microwave, new stove, and uh, we've got a lot of work still to do, but house should be painted by the end of the weekend, and that'll put us at day seven. So, all right. We are a couple days in and we're rock and roll. We'll see you later. All right, so we are on the last couple days of the remodel. We have basically all of our crews in here. I've got flooring people here. I've got the granite people in here. I got the appliances coming in. We're in such a big rush that they even mowed down one of my trees over here, uh, tree branches. They are putting in the granite right now. I'm actually gonna go in there and help them because uh, it's a little bit heavy and they're short on people. But big shout out to granite uh, or Belton uh, Granite and Tile. Again, that's Belton Granite and Tile. They helped me big time because they were able to get in here in less than two weeks and get this done for me. I'm gonna go help them with the granite, and uh, but we gotta get stuff done. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so. They had me helping them put it in the granite. It looks great. That's a sneak peek. Um, we are almost done with this house. We have all the little things. I've got people running around everywhere trying to finish stuff like I was telling you outside. But why am I back live? Because I can hear or I heard the vendor and Chuck having a loud disagreement. I'll just say that in the other room. So I'm gonna give this to Madison and uh, we're gonna go talk to Chuck, which is right out here. So, What's happening, Chuck? What, what is our problem? Dude, we found a floor underneath the old floor, and I don't think we can put down our new vinyl luxury plank. So, <laughs> let me guess, the, uh, the, our vendor is just wanting us to lay it right on top of this. Right on top. Okay, so come on down here. I wanna show you something. This, so it looks like you've already, you guys have already pulled some of this back. This is your old peel and stick the luxury wood flooring from 1980s, yes. So this is old peel and stick flooring. Um, 
No, we can't put our luxury vinyl planking on this because I have tile behind you, I have tile behind Chuck, and once I rip that tile out of here, it's down to the concrete. So when I get into the concrete, I can't transition onto this because I'll have a wave into it. And if an appraiser sees that, they're going to knock me on it. And because I have zero margin for error on this, um, I have to make sure everything's done perfectly. So we're going to have to waste a half a day doing this. Vendor's probably going to be pissed, but it is what it is. I'm paying for a product. That's one of the things where you don't cut corners. Good job, Chuck. We're going to finish all this other stuff. The carpet does look great though. Uh, the walls look great. Even the fireplace turned out right. Um, got a couple small things left to do. Finishing up the, the lawn and then it's picture day, listing day, and we are done with this flip. So we'll see y'all later. We got to get out of here and uh, let these people finish stuff because they're already mad at us. We'll see you later. What's up everybody? Yeah. We are back with the flip and we are just two days away. Two days away from Josh getting to sell this gorgeous house and we were lucky enough. We got all of this ivy and got it out of here. Now we're throwing down some fresh seed, new grass. And we found this nice rock. It is a nice boulder. Nice boulder. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. So we seeded it so it looked good to sell uh, with some temporary grass. Now we're actually putting in uh, the grass that's going to uh, fill in for the new owner. So we are in a hurry to get everything done and ready to put this thing on the market. So we got a lot of stuff to do and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> What's up everybody, we're back at the flip and unfortunately we missed our goal of by about two days. But the good news is, what goal? Our deadline? What or deadline? finishing? Oh, our two weeks. Oh, okay. Yes, we okay. failed. Okay. We failed. We did fail? Okay. Yeah. But, but the good news is... Yeah, tell me the good news. There is good news. Whoever the new owner is going to be might be getting a new AC system. No, they will be. Well, they will? Yeah, on Wednesday. In three days. Wait, four days. Four days? They're getting a new AC. Oh, thank goodness for it them. It sucks for me, though, because that's got to come out of my pocket. But the good news is, with everything that's said and done, the house turned out fantastic. The floors yeah. look great. It really does. Overall, I'm super satisfied with everything. We took a house on minimal budget on, well actually the owner was gonna lose $10,000. We had little time, the house is sold and we were shooting for a number. We actually exceeded that. We're putting money back in the owner's pocket, which they are super excited about, but Without any further delay, check out our flip. Check it out. I messed up there, but it's okay. See y'all later. Now the pizza man can find it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>